guys. It's How me, you doing? Justin. It's been a while since I've done my reviews. The last one I did was Hobbit, so this is my first video review in a while. Uh, fuck, we're we're in a very pissed off mood right now, so you have to forgive my friend here. All right. You remember Eddie? He, he was last with me was on Neighbors. So this, I'm gonna let him go for because he has a shitload of talked about this movie. All right, we went and seen Unfriended. I was looking forward to it actually. Looking forward to it. Yeah, everybody's seen the hype trailer. Yeah. Probably, I will give them to that. I'll give them percentage for that. This movie was probably the worst movie I've ever seen ever in my life. This movie was so fucking bad. I wanted to die with these kids. This was the worst, most piece of shit I ever seen in history. This, I don't know what to fucking say, dude. This movie is... I don't think I've ever been speechless in a review. This movie had nothing. Zero. No plot. No cinematography. No no visuals. Absolutely no production. Absolutely no screenwriting. This movie was zeroed out. I don't think there's a movie that can say a movie can be so zeroed out. Yeah. The visual. You couldn't see shit. No. The biggest problem with this fucking movie was... I'll, I'll tell you here. Look, right, one you of that. my concepts... One of the things I was kind of looking forward to was the concept, because I kind of like the idea of a Facebook kind of movie where it's a stalker kind of shit. That seems interesting on fi on paper, but when you make this shit on film, no, this shit don't fucking work. I was watching this shit, and all throughout the entire movie, they're lagging, they're they keep cutting out and shit, and they have the most unlikable characters you can ever think of in a fucking horror. Movie. I don't think I've been so shocked. And how bad a movie was. I don't think. I'm going to name it out there, guys. There's some movies that are horrible. Good Day, Die Hard. And Purple Company. Uh, Blair Witch 2. Movie 43. Movie 43. Let's keep naming them. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. The, the, the movie Predator movies. Predator movie series. The Aliens vs. Predator series. Man vs. Predators. The movie movies. Like Date Movie, Epic Movie, and all that. And all that. Dude, I'm telling you people. This movie is ten hundred thousand times worse than this. this is the absolute worst movie I ever fucking see in my life. You know what And to say that I'm alive and able to go with my buddy here who is my fucking movie buddy and to go see something like that is insulting. I want his fucking money back. That is the worst most piece of shit ever. I mean People, right. let me tell you the whole story because there ain't no spoiler. This movie don't even have a spoiler. No, everybody knows this the movie plot. is so fucking stupid. Oh my god, dude! Dude, I, I think I'm gonna be having to rush to the hospital. This is that bad. I, I I think this this is absolutely the worst piece of crap I've ever seen in history. People, you don't realize. And you know what pisses me off? Oh the my fact God. that you can't even fucking see the movie. There ain't no fucking ghosts. There ain't no fucking anything. This movie is just like a bunch of people sucking on dicks, fake dick. You know the whole fucking iron scene. Ugh. Oh my God, really, dude? You, you know what pisses me off the most? And I can't believe they did this. They actually had critics praise the film. It had a seventy critics. If you watch this, please, what is with you in fucking critical movies? You guys are the worst judge movies. In fact, I, if I, alright, as a goddamn fucking, a guy who speaks for the fans, because I see myself as speaking for the fans, because I'm a fan, we all fans, we go see movies, we pay for your fucking bullshit, we believe your fucking bullshit. You are, need to be fired for your fucking critical clients. I am about had it here with your fucking critical claims. Because you absolutely, I gave you guys beyond ears, beyond ears, beyond ears, all years of fucking critical claims of movies that absolutely were fucking shit. This movie, you guys critically claimed, no, you guys need to be fired. I don't care who you fucking are. I don't care if you're on the level of Ebert. Get the fuck out. You ain't no critic. Fuck you. Fuck you. This is the worst piece of shit I ever fucking seen ever in cinema and you gave this an 89% 80 fucking 9% fuck you no this is the worst piece of shit I feel like my fucking unborn ch children were fucking raped you know, my balls 
felt like they want to come out of my fucking ball sack and say, dude, never watch cinema again. This is the absolute. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say one. Uh, now, I'm going to downgrade even worse while I'm telling my buddy. 0.5% F minus and add that minus and keep saying it, uh, infinity times. I want my fucking friend's money back. In fact, when we go and we're about to go see another movie, Get Hard, which I heard is a really good movie, and a lot of fans like that, and I'm hoping because I need something to recuperate this. We're right there, I gotta be fucking drunk because I'm about to fucking lose it. I This isn't my fucking money. My buddy paid for this shit. Well, you mean and that, that's okay, up, I, he also, I feel like I lost my money in this because guess, guess what? Trust me, I will be busting the fucking glass. I would have to go probably go to jail over this. That's how bad this movie is. I don't know how I can keep, it's, you know, it's describing the fucking how bad it is, dude. I can't describe a plot to you because there ain't no fucking plot. There, we can't. This, this is the first time me and my buddy have to be speechless about. Well, you know, oh, well, the music is good. No, the fucking music isn't good. The, there ain't no fucking music. There ain't no fucking score. Like score is music. The only thing there is score, nothing completely. No, it's shit. The only sorry. The only parts that I find that were actually kind of cool was like some of the deaths. But even that's not saying much because they fucking They have death. one they fucking, fucking death. They have, no, two. Well, no, they're, they're just deaths. Dude, but. I fell asleep and you had to wake me the fuck up, dude. This is the worst fucking movie I've ever fucking seen. They had deaths, but they're promoting like it's a fucking disturbing. Oh, it's it's fucking like all I'm, kinds of all right, shit. Fan people, I don't take movies seriously. Don't ever try to take movies seriously. I don't want to take movies seriously because it's a fucking movie. Oh, we move on. We live with our lives. Yes, we move in our lives. We all live our lives. <laughs> I don't, dude. I don't know. Why I can move on to this. I don't think I have any hope for Hollywood. And if you movie stars and if Hollywood really does watch these fucking things, you guys are fucking pathetic. Because I trust me, me. I'm not trying to be conceited, but me, and my buddy, and there's millions of fans out there. I hear better fucking concepts from. Fans of any kind no. of movie you make. Not to cut you off, but we you want you want holiday. Hey, no, no, let me cut this off. You guys want fucking college experience? It ain't cutting it out, people, because you're these mama daddies who were in Hollywood and giving it to their sons isn't cutting out. These fucking mommy, uh, these breastfed, spoon-fed faggots ain't cutting it out. Take it from the fans. I gotta say, I'm a, I'm against this hipster, hipster hipster crowd where they're more about the Transformers and talking down to Die Hard and shit like that. But I gotta say, for once, I gotta agree with the hipsters. This movie was the worst fucking piece of shit I ever fucking seen. And that's sad. You know why? Because we actually saw a better horror movie a couple days ago. It follows. All right, people. I remember a bunch of fans. I agree with you. Die Hard. Good day. Die Hard. Uh, and the poor comedy was so unwatchable, so fucking bad. I'm gonna tell you right now. Take Good Day to Hard, that and give it t 25 Oscars. That's how bad this movie is. This yeah. <laughs> unfriended is. It's that bad. I would give. Is. I would let. I would give Bruce Willis five minutes of screen time in a Die Hard film, and I guarantee I can make it. An Oscar winning performance compared to this piece of shit, Unfriended. This is the most god awful, dude. I, I don't, dude, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna let Justin do his part. I don't, there ain't much to say, people. This is Eddie. Dude, this is, but you were, I don't think you're gonna get ever get a worse grade from me. I don't think you can. I'm gonna. I'll, uh, you're gonna hear me in the future. I'm gonna probably rant about some movies. There's gonna be some movies that's gonna be disappointing. This is actually absolutely the worst movie. I, I don't. The only movie that could be worse than this, if if I walked in and I paid for a full blown uh, cinema, was taken. And, and, and then and then they end it in 15 minutes. That'd probably be only the thing that could be worse than fucking Unfriended. Besides taking three, because I paid the, for that one. I mean, oh, just even more. The movie ends the quickest in, in cinema. Yeah. So, it even worse by ending it the quickest ever in cinema history. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm, I'm not joking right now. 
I have throw up in my mouth. I really do taste throw up. It's that bad. That I about puked. My buddy here, I didn't mention this. I don't know if I did. If I did, he woke me up six times. Yeah. Six fucking times. I've never had to be woke up. And I've seen some of the movies where I fell asleep in theaters, but not six times. Not when somebody's begging me to stay op- awake, and I can't not. I had to beg you. I was like, dude, man, don't beg fucking me. fall asleep. We got to we gotta get through he this. He begs me, and I fell asleep. I, Wolfman, I'm sorry for Wolfman fans. I really didn't like the film. I fell asleep. But at least I went in one piece. Not Inception. somebody begging the fuck out of me. Inception, you, I did the same thing to where we fell asleep in the car, and like, look, me and my ex... Me and my girlfriend were like, huh, huh, huh. I would see Inception and I would watch it 17 hours a day. This movie is... That. Just go see it. You'll tell... Dude, if you like it, I don't know what the fuck you see in it. Because there is no... You can't say, oh, Eddie, they're sitting there talking for you. No, it's not. You can't say, Eddie has got a good title. No, it's not. Eddie, there's good character. No, it's not. Eddie, there's fucking um, visuals. No, it's not. Eddie, there's brutality. No, it's not. Eddie, there's cuss word. No, it's not. There's no movie. It's not a movie. It's really not a movie. And this is where I get into. My children can make a better movie than this fucking shit. And they sit there, and I can guarantee I can get people brought into the theater. And they can just sit there and just fucking do flips all fucking day, and you get more excitement <laughs> than that shit. I don't blame There's you. Justin. Let, let him... The side See, of that movie. I had the same reaction like he did. Like this movie was just really fucking bad. Like now, if, is it the worst movie I've seen? No, I've seen probably movies that are far worse. I've seen direct to video, but for a movie in the theaters wise, yeah, it's one of the worst horror films I've seen. I think I ra- hey, not to cut him off. I think I ra- rather watch Lake Pass at five than this shit. Yeah, this See, movie is so goddamn bad. See, the thing is with. This movie, I was kind of looking forward to it because the concept kind of seems cool, you know, with a whole, you know, there's like a ghost on like online and shit. But they waste that because not only did that, they did the characters keep pissing me off, but it was so fucking plotted. There's out. no character. There's no characters. There's no. There's no. There's no relations. There's no character chemistry. There's nothing. There's absolutely zeroed. This movie, I've never seen a movie can be so zeroed. No, it's it's. I mean. As much as you may give it a little bit more than I do, can you agree with me there's zero? There is. There's zero everything. There's no chemistry. No. There's nothing. Nothing. This movie is absolutely the worst piece of trash. In fact, everybody in this involved in this film should already end their crack end their acting and actress career and go ahead and do maybe uh flipping burgers. Because that's all you can fucking do. Because that... I wouldn't even hire you on a good business. You straight deserve Burger King job. That's how bad this fucking piece of shit is. Not to mention, I feel like this movie... The only thing I can actually say that was kind of decent was maybe a couple of the kills. But that's about it. The rest of the shit, the fucking characters, uh, the plot... The plot went nowhere. I may and, I may piss you off to some of you, sen- uh, you feminist people. You feminist men. But is it wrong that the movie's so bad that I want to go in there and just beat the shit out of the women in the movie? Because they were so fucking annoying. God, look, dude. Look, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to say I would beat a woman up, but I'm just saying if <laughs> this you, movie if you want to talk about this movie makes me want to go to prison. If you <laughs> for people that were okay, like we were saying before, the same critics that liked uh, this movie That's also why, liked dude, your next. Yeah, did you just the same? Not, no. And which, by the way, if you ever seen that personally, I think that. And this is coming from a guy whose family allowed that movie to be filmed in our cove. My family owns the cove where your next is made. We allowed that shit. My family got paid for the shit. You think I'd praise that over favoritism? My family owns the property. That was actually my next worst piece of shit I've ever fucking seen. Yeah. Album disgrace. My family allowed that fucking movie to be filmed <laughs> in our property because it was the worst fucking absolutely piece of shit I ever fucking seen. Next to this fucking piece of shit, and I'm gonna tell you right now. I'll give your next 17 Oscars over this fucking movie any yeah. day of the week because this at unfriended is. Man. See, it feels like to me like the filmmakers run the idea of like they can make like a, a cool little ghost movie about like fucking Facebook. 
But even that doesn't go anywhere because all, the only thing they keep doing, they keep repeatedly showing videos of the same shit over and over again of the girl trying to be like, hey, you think you're, you're going to be cool? Guess what? I'm going to be trying to look like I'm killing myself and then I actually kill myself in another video. Yeah. Hey, critics, can I come over there and fucking slap the shit out of you? Because I really don't know what the fuck you see in this film. Can I bitch slap you? Can I slap some fucking sense in you? Because you can, you wouldn't know a fucking movie that would shove up your fucking ass. Well, you know why the critics praise it, right? They, from what I because read... critics are fucking faggots. They, well, no. they thought, oh, fetish, oh, any... I, I'm to this point to where I think uh, critics know when a, uh, when fans are going to hate it, and they just want to praise it just to be fucking jack-offs. No. Because they're fucking faggots. Because the critics that liked the yeah. movie, they were the ones that were saying, oh, the acting's fine. It actually works better because it feels realistic. It actually feels like that shit can actually realistic? happen. Realistic? No, it fucking doesn't, dude. There's no ill possibly way you can set that fucking up. Even as a horror film is to say it's irrealistic, it still doesn't even buy it, dude. Not to mention... The only thing that the critics... I, I, this movie was I think, so you know what I think? Bad, I feel like the critics that are applauding it, they're only praising it because of its technicality. They're praising it because... They're the praising fact, it because... Because, it's, because the fact that the whole no, film I really takes th- place in Skype. I really think, because of judging by every film, Gone Girl, uh, that was the best fucking film of the year last year. Um, you got Nightcrawler, which I consider a tie. Dawn of Planet Apes. Good movies like that. They wouldn't even give... Those type movies, half a fucking day. Hence the fact I watched the Oscars and I didn't see none of those fucking films praised but one fucking award. Yeah. But you're gonna sit here and praise fucking movies like this? I bet you they put Unfriended in twenty fucking nominations. Yeah. Want to bet? Because I hear another movie that they actually I've seen rants. I've been watching rants over YouTube, and I'm sounding like the people who are sounding like that one with fucking. Um, with uh, Beetlejuice dude, motherfucker. Uh, Birdman. Birdman. I'm I'm actually sounding like Birdman fans because I heard I watched some of your all's reviews and you sound just like me on Birdman. That's how bad I heard Birdman was. But I'm gonna promise you, all you Birdman haters out there, I I, I believe you. It's probably that fucking bad of a fucking movie, but it's probably not worse than fucking Beetlejuice no. shit, dude. This movie is so. This is the ultimate worst. No, and you also knew, notice too, like in the All film. Right, let me let me go home and let me videotape my closet. I, I, I'm gonna videotape my closet for 45 minutes. I bet you get guys jack off and come before that fucking <laughs> movie you like before you like unfriended. Man, yeah. See, with me, I I, I I I don't disagree with you. Like I had the same reaction, man. That movie was just giving me such a fucking. I was just wanted. To I got. I just wanted to leave. I. In 14 minutes, I want it to end. In 14 minutes. And that was 14 minutes. That's adding the trailers. Yeah. That's how bad this fucking film was. Because I was right when the credits roll, and then they're clicking. I was like, all right, when's the credits going to end? How? I asked my buddy when the fucking movie was going to end. No, so it was like that's how bad 20 it was. minutes, so I had to keep you up the whole time. You're probably like, oh, well, man, that's bullshit. You only get that motherfucker four seconds. No, d- trust me, I was right. I mean, yeah, I may have been a little pushy with the... The whole when's it gonna end? But guess what? I, for once, I was actually right. I was really begging for the movie to fucking end, and this was a piece of shit. Well, you know, also too is that uh, with fucking the trailers we got, the the horror films coming out, those look better than that piece of shit. I'm gonna let my buddy talk talk on this part because he's a he's got visual problems. He has to wear glasses. Tell him how if for. I impaired fans should what they should do. Here's here's the thing. If you watch this film and you you're like problems. me and you're well, is it nearsighted or okay, I keep forgetting is it nearsighted? Doesn't matter. You no, I'm be saying, fucking no, I'm saying if, you, if you can't see long distance, is that nearsighted or is that far sighted? I fucking don't okay. know. It's one of those. I have twenty twenty vision. If and have, I wish I would have been Ray Charles after that fucking If you're movie. like me, because I have a hard time seeing from a hard distance without glasses on, like just reading text and shit. You're probably if you're sitting in the very back corner, you're gonna be pissed off because you can't read shit from way back there. Let's just say that um well, a total of only six people were in the fucking only day two and there's only six people in theaters. Yeah. Um, uh, let's just say that all of them but me and him, because I refused to move because I really didn't give a fuck about the movie. And I could see twenty twenty. It was just really boring. I didn't give a flying fuck. Um that everybody had to go all the way up. 
and stand up to the screen. Yeah, on some parts. We actually see a, a couple going to the front of the screen they just because couldn't they couldn't see it. it. Yeah, they just couldn't. They couldn't fucking it. see it. And these people had twenty twenty. I I had twenty twenty. I didn't give a fine fuck. This movie was that bad. I was like, yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't give a fuck, dude. Just read what you want. Just make up some fucking words. I feel like with this kind of movie, it's gonna don't get me wrong. It's gonna make its fucking money back. It's gonna make its fucking audience. Sad because you know what? The only thing that Unfriended had going for itself. It's a goddamn trailer. Don't believe that fucking trailer, fans. Please do no. not sucker. Do not fall for it. It is not the fucking trailer, dude. It is not nothing like the trailer. The only in place. All the death scenes, you get one fourth of a second before you blink and it's over with. Yeah. Not to mention when they finally see the ghost, you barely see what the fucking ghost look like. I might have, because I, you you see the ghost like close the screen. I don't know how it got see, a rated R you, film. You, you barely even see what the ghost looks like. Like you There's see, no fucking ghost. This movie is a ripoff. This movie is just fucking just. Yeah, it's people. We're about to go see fucking get, get hard, hard. So because I'm about to commit suicide if I don't fucking do it. I'm about to fucking give up on movies yeah, history. This, I'm just not. I'm gonna find another hobby. We're, we're, if I if this, if this is what we're gonna get, if this is the best we're gonna get, I'm gonna give up on movies. Yeah, we're, we're gonna and movies are my hobbies, but I don't think I've ever said that. Yeah. Good Day to heart, Die Hard was a million times better than this fucking movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ha And this is bad, me saying this. In corporate comedy, I will watch that 10, 20 times, and then I will turn on Good Day and watch another 20. I would oh. never watch this piece of shit. This is the last time I'm ever watching this. That's what I'm me saying. Me too. This will never be in my fucking house. Me too. If my girlfriend ever tries to attempt to rent this, I'm going to break the motherfucker in half. <laughs> and I don't care if I have to pay 20 days. I will pay 20 fucking days and rip it in a fucking half. Yeah, that's that's how it is with me. I'm like, done with this like, man, dude. I already tore the fuck. I, I don't know how I I'm can just, keep begging people how bad this movie is. I'm really just torn apart with this movie, you know? I don't, listen, I don't go to watch found footage movies in the theaters, but when I do, it has to be on a certain occasion. The last one I went and seen in the theater was Paranormal Activity 4, but that was only because I went with my cousin. But this one, just skip it. If, if for all you, if you like the film, that's fine, you know? More power to you. More power but, to you, but you ain't got but no taste still, in films. if you're like mm -hmm. me and him and just like to, you know, actually want, expect more, Definitely skip this one and fucking just just go watch it. Go fuck. Go watch It Follows. That's a better fucking horror movie. All right. For all you that said It Follows is worse, you need to be shot in the fucking face because It Follows. I actually got to give that a fucking praise. I really got to give that a fucking I did praise of a fucking film. And you will hear us. I'm sure he's gonna post the audio. We yeah, gave we did our audio that. review of that. It, it's a damn good film. Yeah, it, it, that's a good film. That's what you mean. And I'm a, I'm a guy that likes gory films, and it didn't have gore on it. So if you're a gore fucking freak, don't go see it. If you're not a if you're a hipster, don't go fucking see it. If you're not if, a, you're, if you lo respect the Halloween series of John Carpenter, not Rob Zombie, John Carpenter. If you like Hell House, um, you like um, uh, April Fool's Day. Not so like Elm that, Street. the original April Fool's Day. I'm talking about original, original shit. It follows us for you. Yeah. But other than that, we'll be back here in a little while with uh, another review of We'll Be Get Get Hard. Get Hard. Because we, we gotta we gotta make this up because uh, this movie a, if either, has he really does, fucking either he gets me in another me. movie or I'm going to the fucking hospital. Yeah. For we, we gotta attack. we gotta make this up today. So. And they're gonna ask me. The well, doctor's gonna be like, "Hey, what you have anxiety attack over?" Well, oh, I seen the worst fucking piece of shit film I ever seen. Yeah. So we'll be back here later on. So until then, hope you guys have a good Peace, weekend, guys. And we'll see you guys. On I ain't that hard ass. I'll fucking get a good. Review. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs>